Welcome back everybody. Lazland back with a Conan Exiles video. So today, well we're zoomed right in. We've got two things that I want to do. We are going to go to the um, Tower of the Bat, which is right here, and get our staff um, awakened. So that's right here. So I think it says um, only awakened and their blood. Uh, the Tower of the Bat. We're placed on the altar awakened to share with us. So I think I can get the blood up there. And I think it's demon blood. So we'll just take this. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head to Sepamaru. So we've got our new Tier 4 um, Taskmaster and stuff to make a uh, Wheel of Pain. Also, over time, I got a couple named Cooks. Uh, what else did I add? A named Carpenter. Uh, an extra named Alchemist. Yeah, so we've been we've been getting lots of named Thralls. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to make, just in case, um, let's make a steel truncheon, so six steel bars. And we got, I'll show you where we got all this, this iron. It's actually right beside where we're going. We want to craft one of those. And we're probably going to have to put it on, um, buddy. Uh, Tinker's Bench. So I want the, the blunted. That's hardened steel, so ten more for that. And here... Because once we go to Sepamaru, we're going to go into, I think it's called the Wine Cellar, and try and knock out a uh, treasure seeker. Put that on there. And we will keep that with us because we want Buddy with his weapon for right now. Uh, what do you got for food? I want to give you some more. Um, what do you got in here? Let's take some gruel and some meat. I need a little bit more. And so will he. Put that and that in there. Ditch that. I think that would make you good. Um, so yeah, we're going to ride up the ridge here. And then down to here. And we'll show you probably one of the best spots in the game to get iron. Which is right here. And then we got to climb up to the tower. So I'll bring you back when we're at the tower, and we're ready to start climbing. We'll see you there. Okay, we're back. So, I'll show you this place on the map here. See, we're right here. Up there is a crazy amount of iron. But we're going up here because we're going to climb up onto this ridge. And there's also a ton of iron up here, but it is guarded by... Um, iron and coal rock noses. So they do take, deal a lot of damage. But if you have half decent weapons, they're, they're pretty easy to deal, dispatch. Oh. We're going to leave our horse down here, so we want to just make sure that we're leaving him in a, a safe spot. So there should be one more. I think there's one or two of these guys here. see my steel short sword does a ton of damage um that guy right you should be yeah so if you do a right click and then a rapid section of left clicks that's when you do that stab rapidly thing okay so i want you to stay right there Okay, so we're going to climb up here, and then up to that ledge. Which shouldn't be that hard. But yeah, so um, when we get up to the ledge, I'll show you. Because there is a ton of iron right across that ridge. I didn't even realize there was that much, because normally there's people there 
in the servers that I play on. Of course, I'm going to be behind this bush. Yeah, look at look at all that. Just crazy amounts. I filled up myself, um, my horse, and my thrall to the max and had to walk home because I was way overweight. I think it was like 14 stacks or 15 stacks of iron. Now, it's going to depend on what your... Um, Oh, Terror of the Bats. It's going to depend on what your uh, stats or game, um, what you get per hit is, but it is a bunch. Are we going to make it? Okay, no pissing around. Just let me climb up. Oh, look at that, I guess. thought that was going to be close. So there is a three-star bat up here. So, buddy, I'm hoping you're ready for this. So, can you see him? We're going to pull him down, I think. Cheeky shot right in the face. Oh, he's just a one star. He'll still do some damage to us, but... No, no. Attack. Ouch. Buddy. Get him. We're going to let him do some fighting. Oop. We're just going to use some arrows on him. So I need to get the that temple built and to level 2 so that we can get to our um, we can get to our uh, snake arrows. Actually, we're going to get in and do some Dagger attacks, get some bleeds on this bad boy. Unless I can't. Oh, I can't bleed him. Okay, go back to the other side. But he's doing fine. We'll get him long before he gets us. We just don't want Buddy to knock him off the ridge. Get your health at. You're still good. Come on. Buddy, move over there. You're gonna knock him off. I need to harvest him. There. And five. I'll buy no demon blood. That skin. There we go. So now I think um, there should be something up top there. I should go check before he respawns. What's this? That's the specialist cooking. Um, yes, this is where we want to be. Did I... Damn it, I left the friggin... Oh, I left it in the horse. We might have to kill that stupid thing again. Okay, I'm going to run down and grab it and come back up. Uh, I'm a dumbass. Yeah. So I'll bring you back when I get back up here. Okay, he didn't respawn. So now we should be able to put this and that in there, and we're getting the awakened staff. And it, I guess, sorry. So it shows a portal. You can't go through it, but it's just showing you. So now we can take that, and we're going to head down to where our horse is, and then we can activate our staff. We're just going to jump back down off the ridge. I don't think there's anything... I'm just going to do a little looky-poo over here. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, it's just a rock. Yeah, the bridge used to be connected to that camp, but not anymore. Oh, don't slide into the hole. There we go. Okay. Now, we can take this and put it down. And then talk to it. Yes, yes. 
I live again! Oh, maybe you uh, tremble at my coming and all of that. Oh, hello. Ah, well, I have you to thank for awakening me, yes? Oh, you've done a very great thing. My former masters were yeah, upset with my advice. I was thrown into that sewer in a fit of pique. Apparently, my endless wisdom was only at a premium when they were winning the war. Pardon me. I've been trapped in a vat of slug feces for a few thousand years. Makes the throat a little warm. As if I have a throat. Now, on to the terms of our agreement. Now, I promise to serve you, providing wisdom and knowledge until the day I'm returned to the one who summoned me. And in return, you promise not to throw me into any sewers. <laughs> Sound good? Excellent. Now, let's find out exactly where and when we are. I can see you're wearing a slave bracelet, which means we can't be that far from the capital, or you'd be a pile of exploded guts. <laughs> so logically, uh, we must find the map room. Now, I need to get the lay of the land. Oh, look at this land. I haven't seen such a mess since the fall of Volusia. And uh, look, the archivist. Oh, sorry looking shade that he is. So the next thing we need to do is go see the Archivist, which is in the unnamed city, but we're not not doing that today. We're going to go to the far side of the unnamed city and up to Sepamaru. So I'm going to run. We're going to run around this side, and I will meet you when we're on the back side of this unnamed city. So I will see you then. Okay, so we are in the back side of the unnamed city. So we just rode around. This is the the dregs area. So we just came around the back here. The the ghost walls there, and we're heading down this ridge. So this is where you want to go to find um, rhinos. Is down this way. And if we can grab a, a sneaky rhino baby, we might grab one and take it home. So, there's the rhinos there. There's another one. We actually need to kill a couple of those, but that's not what we're here for right now. We're going to need rhino hide for what we're doing. But we're here for the city in the back. So these... Besides them, the rhinos wanting to attack us, these are non-combatants. You, if you attack them, they'll attack you, but these are uh, friendly NPCs. And you can get the Sepamaru City of the Relic Hunters. So you can get a ton of really good thralls in here. Which is what we're after. So I gotta remember exactly where it is it's been a while um there's a tavern here with um conan in it and it's by the lake might not be this lake um might have to go this way but yeah so all these you can attack and knock all these guys out but it's, um, yeah, if you get seen by a bunch of them, you might have a tough time. But we're going to run around and look for Conan's uh, tavern. I guess it's probably not Conan's tavern, but it's the tavern where Conan is. There is one section of this town that's hostile. I just can't remember exactly where it is. Right there. Those guys. Yeah, we don't want to play with them. Well, we, we could kill them, but I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something specific. Um, so I think this is it here. Is the door open? Yes, it is. 
Uh, these guys still following me? God damn it, go away. So you don't want to run into people with your horse because it'll aggro them. Okay, you, you three go away. Come on. They're still following me. <laughs> so we are actually going to build our... We can do that right now so that we lose aggro. We are going to come out here to where we can build and build our Wheel of Pain. So I think it'll probably this far out. Um, you... Well, we'll see. Wherever we can stand guard. You stay there. Uh, take that and that. I need to get some wood and stone. Okay, so now we're going to just build a platform to put this stuff on. And I don't think you have to in single player, but I don't like uh, putting things just on the ground. I think it's four... Really, buddy? I think it's four by four. Can you just go over there? Um, let's do five by five. There we go. Now we need stuff out of you. This, this. That's all of it. And we want companions, wheel of pain, this way. Yeah, 4x4 four four would have been fine. Oh, no, I don't want to get on the horse. Get off the horse. This and those things. We'll take the truncheon. You can have this crap. I don't think there's anything in the area that we have to be worried about. Okay, so you stay here. Uh, you, oh wait, should we should probably put a bed down? Uh, fiber, bedroll, wine, branches, and plant fiber. Did I throw branches out? Probably did and just... No, no, I want... Branches. Branches, like this. There we go. And I got a sickle. For this. So let's get 10 twine. And then... Well, I guess I could get a rawhide bedroll. That'd probably be better. Like that. I want to put a box down here, too, anyway. So, four decorations. I'm going to put a real bed down. I need wood and twine. There. So, two of those. And a little bit of that. There we go. So, put that there. Oop that there and we want to craft one of those put it there now we can ditch all this crap in here for now we'll leave the staff we want our weapon we don't need the cleaver don't need the hammer um we won't need the axe. Just want to get a little bit of weight out of... Only got 18 arrows. Hmm. Okay, buddy. Nope. Nope. Just follow me. Okay, here we go. We got our binding? Okay. So yeah, like I said, you could knock these guys out and take them but what we're looking for 
is... So there's a boss that we're going to fight right away. That is... Um, he drops a special weapon. But let's go talk to Conan first, and then we'll go into the wine cellar. Now that we got rid of all those other dudes. There he is. So you live, and we meet again. Tell me, have you had a good chance to look around? Seen your fill of these exiled lands? <laughs> it's not too late to get back on my crucifix. Try not to get... So you can talk more to him if you want. Um... So, by the gods, what was I thinking? I locked Seth in the drunk in the wine cellar. That's where all the drinks are. I am ruined. Um, I don't think... Is there a cooking? Oh, some more in emotes. Okay, let's go to the wine cellar. Oh, a little bit of lag there. So, right around the back here... ...is the entrance to the wine cellar. So you... Oh, shit. You gotta be careful when you go in... You have to have your thrall close. So you see right here it says return to the surface on the right hand side. That actually sends you into the dungeon. What a loading screen. That took about 14 hours. <laughs> so I crashed hard and then it uh, my game files got corrupted so I had to do the do the things. But here we are. Uh, we're going to get Buddy following us. I'm going to give him one of these potions. Actually, can I make you eat one of those? Oh, there we go. And take a potion. Um, come on. Maybe you need to take another potion. Because I know this guy hits like a truck. So we want Buddy to have full health. Uh, let's give you one more. Okay. So, you need to come over here. And go get him. Oh, no, I don't want E on you. So this guy, you need to avoid his attacks. Something fierce, because he will... He does a one-shot, but he will do a ton of damage to you. And what we're hoping from, from him, is, come on, ah, so he drops Seth's truncheon, which will help us knock out the guys in the next room. But we are going to take your axe and give you that. We're going to put this down on our bar, because we are going to fight um, two treasure seekers. And we're going to knock him out. Oh. I wish I left him with his weapon. I didn't realize the other was going to be an archer. Stab, 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 stab. Dodge. Let's get our health. Actually, Buddy's doing pretty good. I was thought he was going to take a, a beating. These treasure seekers are pretty hardy, as you can see how much damage it takes. Well, we'll take all that. Okay, now you we're gonna try and knock his ass out. Get him, bud. Don't, don't. the head. And I don't care that he's an archer. We're gonna give him an agility weapon and he'll be fine. But look at how look at how many times I've had to hit him. And look at his his bar. That's why we want the Seth Struncheon, because it gives way more concussion damage than what we can do. And we're not actually going to go much farther than this. We're just here right now for the truncheon and for these 
relic hunter treasure seekers. And I kind of wanted to show you what happens when you uh, leave the instance with one. So we're going to get this guy knocked out and then we'll see you as we leave the room. Bunch of time. Okay. So, you bind them. Then you gotta make sure that you're in the exit. And then return to the surface. And then don't press anything after you come out of the surface. So you can see my my binding is still tight. So you don't don't do anything. Just head back to your your um, wheel and press on the wheel, and it should toss him into your or your wheel. Let's try. There we go. Relic hunter treasure seeker. Okay, well, I think we're going to do, me and Buddy here are going to go back in and fight Seth a bunch and try and get a bunch more treasure seekers. Our purge meter is just about half, so we need to start getting um, some strong, oh, agility weapon damage, those are nice, some strong thralls to help defend our base. But if you like the content, do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, come back next episode, we're actually going to do a good um, exploration of Set Maru, and then I think we are going to head to the Black Galleon to get some stronger thralls, and we'll set up a little base over there. But as always, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>